country. everybody. For starters, I just want to let you know that I did weigh in this morning and I lost exactly two pounds. Last week I was 293.4 and this week I am 291.4. So I'm pretty happy with that. I, I, I have it set on my lose it to lose two pounds a week so I, I feel it was a very successful week. So as for breakfast this morning, I am having toast. This is my toast. It's just, it has some smart balance and some homemade apple butter. So, um, not that exciting, it's just toast. But I love toast. I am a huge fan of toast. It might seem like a kind of boring breakfast to some of you, but I'm a huge fan of toast. <laughs> Part of what I wanted to show you about toast this morning, though, is your bread. The, I, I have, <laughs> I have a beef against just plain wheat bread. Um, if you look at the, the nutritional value of wheat bread. Generally it will say less than a gram of fiber and um, in my opinion wheat bread like that is just white bread dyed brown. That's how I feel about it. So yeah, I'm kind of a stickler with my bread and I like my bread to have fiber. So yeah, you can see right there on my bread that it has five grams of dietary fiber. I tend to go for five grams but the more healthy it gets, the more expensive it gets. So um, I at least want three grams of fiber in my bread. And I know at Walmart you can get some bread that has three grams of fiber for like a dollar ninety-two, and I think that's about as cheap as I've found it. If you have found high fiber bread cheaper than that, please let me know where I can go because I love high fiber bread and I love toast. So yeah, just let me know where you find your bread. Hey guys, haven't done really any vlogging today. It's just been kind of a lazy day today. I did some editing, played with my kids, hung out with my husband some. So right now I'm just going to show you some basic exercises that you can do from home. I grab my weight here. So if you just have any ordinary cans, these are green beans. So just take your cans, and these are going to be some upper arm exercises. So you're going to want to do is, I'll, I'll stand sideways so you can see what I'm doing. You're going to want to take them up above your head and bend back behind your back and go back up. The first couple of times it's not going to seem like it's really doing much, but what I'm going to have you do is do 20 reps of them and 3 sets. So after each set of, tw each set of 20, take a 30 second break and then do another set of 20. By the end of it, you'll feel the burn. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. That was my first set. I'm going to take a little break here. And just so you know, you want to go slowly. You don't want to just get your arms up above your head and let them drop. And bring it back up slowly. Don't straighten your arms. Just kind of bring them up to about there so your elbows are still bent. And just make sure you're doing it slowly. Just don't let your arms fall. So here we go with the second set. Alright, there was my second set. By now you should be feeling a little bit of burning. Um, if not, then maybe you need to go up to a bigger size can. Or, I mean, it doesn't have to be a can. You can use whatever you have around your house. Cans are the easiest because most people have them laying around their house. So if, if, it's, if it's not giving you the, um, the word I'm looking for. It's not giving you the result you're looking for. Just go to a bigger size can. So here we go with the last set. All right, there we go. Those were our three sets for that one. And that exercise is going to work out this part of your arm. I very much dislike this part of my arm. Um, it's one of my big problem areas. I know that a lot of other people struggle with that part of their arm too, so that is a perfect exercise for that. If you're feeling like it wasn't enough, you can go up, like I said, go up to a different size can, but be careful 
If you are just starting out, you don't want to overdo it your first time exercising in a long time because then your body is just going to be in screaming pain for a few days and you're not going to want to exercise again. So just make sure you take it easy, especially when you're first starting out because you don't want to overdo it and ruin your chances of working out again anytime soon. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is, it'll be the same thing, 20 reps, well they're not really reps I guess, 20 circles, 20 circles and 3 sets. So what you're going to do is just take your hands out to your side and just go in small circles. One, two, three, four. Well I just did 30 because I, st I kept counting and forgot to stop. But if you want to do 30, that's fine. Just make sure you're doing what your body is comfortable with. I have a munchkin. All right, go to your next set. And you can go backwards, too. You don't have to go forward. They work different muscles. All right, there was your second set. And I am not positive what muscles this is supposed to work, but I'm feeling it right across my shoulders. So I'm guessing it's supposed to work your shoulders and your arms for this particular exercise. And another thing with these exercises is if you are just starting out and you, even if you're not super mobile, you can do these sitting down. Just make sure you're sitting down, sitting up straight, and you can do it from a sitting position. If that is what you're capable of right now, that is perfectly fine. If you can't do as many reps as I'm doing, that's perfectly fine. Anything is better than nothing. All you can do is try. So here's the last step. Alright, there we go. So those were some arm exercises. I never work out my upper body and lower body on the same day, so I tend to work my core muscle with my upper, with my arms, and then I'll do the legs on a day by themselves. So I'm going to show you one of my favorite core exercises right now. And I haven't done it in a really long time, so it might look ridiculous, but we're doing this together, right? So let's give it a go. All right, so here we are on the floor, and this is my dog. <laughs> River, get up. Go on, good girl. So I'm going to do the ab exercises last, but first I'm going to do some push-ups. Now, I don't know about you, I have never, ever in my life been able to do a full-on real push-up. It has just... I've, I've never had upper body strength, so I've, just, I've never been able to do a full-on push-up. I don't even know how many girl push-ups I can do. So I'm going to give it a shot here, and we'll just see how many we can do together. So do as many as you can, do one more than you think you can, and then stop. And do the same for your other two sets. So here we go. on that one. I am so out of shape right now. So just let your, let your arms rest for a second and do it again. See if you can hit at least the same number that you did in your first set.
she gets really excited if you're on the floor. She automatically thinks it's because you want to play with her. Here, go puppy. Up. Go on, get up. Go crawl. I'm going to try to do the two more just to get me to my seven. I'm kind of doubting my abilities right now. Right. And make sure you breathe throughout this. Do not hold your breath. Right, Calvin. 
Alright, so here we go with the second set. So here we go with our second set. So I'm going to bring my feet up and Dan's going to grab my ankles and then push them back down.
that I could probably gain a hundred pounds before he would start thinking I needed to, I, I should do something about my weight. That's just how sweet he is. And you know, but you have to do it for you. It has to be about you. Think of yourself. I know sometimes, especially as a mom, you put your kids first. It's hard to find a time to work out because your kids are constantly there. My kid is right here, one of them. The other is in bed right now. But my dog, you saw her, she was all over me. You have to make the time for yourself. It is so important. Your health is so important because the healthier you are, the more you're going to be able to be there for the ones that care about you. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope this has been motivational for you. I hope you've been able to start your journey. And if you haven't started it yet, start. Start today. Don't wait till tomorrow. Start today. I know a lot of times I'm like, okay, I will start on Monday because that's the beginning of the week. I do that to myself all the time. And you need to get to a point where you're just like, no, I will start today. You have no control over what happened yesterday. It's okay if you didn't start yesterday. You still have today. Start today and do awesome. Be awesome. And keep on keeping on. And I will see you in the next video.